<laughs> hey there, Flip. I was... Wait a minute. There's something different about you. No, there's not. <laughs> yeah, there is. You're wearing star blockers. On Earth, they call them sunglasses. But yes, I am. They are very popular with the two-legged Earthlings. <laughs> Ooh, let me see what these star blockers would look like on my big face. Mosey, no, don't. Yeah, don't let me touch. Oh, I want to keep them on my face. Oh, I'll give them right back, Flap. <laughs> 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 Uh, what in the noogle do we have here? Ah, uh, Krasnitz! I did not want you to see this, Mosey! Flip! Are you growing a new eye? Mm. Yes, and it is a source of great embarrassment for me. Why? It's such a cute little baby one. Look, it can't even blink yet. It just sits there staring off into space like a little googly eye or something. <sighs> Hey, little guy, look up here at your Uncle Mosey. Who's a cute little baby eyeball? Would you please stop making baby talk at my eyeball? Can it wink? Make it wink. You are not helping. Riding through the solar system, our spaceship hit a rock. So we thought we'd look around And learn about this planet From the creatures that we found And when they speak they always sing So we learn from all the animals How to be an Come on! No! Just one more time! No! Oh, come on! I just want to see it one more time, please! Ugh, fine. But this is the last time I'm taking the sunglasses off. Oh, it's so cute! <gasps> Look at the little guy. I think I'm going to name it Ivan. Or maybe Ivy. No, Iris! Yeah. This is awkward and highly uncomfortable. Why? Everyone will be staring at me. So? I mean, well, technically they'll be looking at Iris, but why is that bad? Because it feels strange and different and new. I know this is a natural part of the maturing process. My elders told me that as my body changes and grows, I may add appendages or optical access points, but... <gasps> you might grow another butt. I was going to say it's normal. So, what's the problem? It does not feel normal. I dislike change. And we have to cover the monarch butterfly migration today. Oh, was that today? Yes. And all of the Earthlings will be staring at my strange baby eyeball. Oh, no, they won't. You can barely notice it. Really? Yes, really. I mean, your giant nose and scales pretty much distract from your eyes anyway. So. Wait. You think I have a giant nose? Uh, I'm a giant, like, compared to your tiny little eye. Um, I mean, uh, ah, uh, Krasnitz, I, uh, whoa! <laughs> Look at the time. We better get down to Earth. We don't want to be late to that King Butter Festival. It's a monarch butterfly migration! Yes, it is. And you are going to report the Krasnitz out of it. But I do not want to go. What? I want to go back to bed and just wait until my body stops being strange. Yeah, well, I'm going to be honest with you here, Flipsy. I don't think we have that kind of time. Then you can go without me. Well, I mean, I could, I guess. I mean, I could totally go solo and interview the Moloch Bitterfleas by myself. Ugh, they are monarch butterflies. Exactly. And they only do this navigation thing once a year, right? It's called a migration. Even more reason for you not to miss it. You don't need a new baby eyeball to see how cool that's going to be, am I right? Oh, Flip. I'm not being poetic. 
I'm really so sympathetic, but honey, the only thing normal in life is changes. But you're gonna make it. The flip, I know she can take it. It's the way it works. The moment you're safe, that's the moment the winds will change. Ponder this a moment. There is one component that every planet that we've been on has the same. It's change. Yeah, it's super nice. Like riding those two wheel centrifugal devices. You mean a bicycle? To not fall, you have to move forward and all I'm saying is right now there's an opportunity a brand new lens to which to see oh let me lay it right down your brand new I will just give you a brand new um Mosey I would think that you knew me a little better by now oh, flip I have faith in uh, you I'm not sure you get it I like things consistent don't like much when things are different Change is something that I try to avoid when I can. When things are as expected, it makes me feel protected. You can tell that I do well when I know how to go. It keeps me from freaking out. All I'm saying is right now, there's an opportunity to change the way you get to see. Off. I can live with that. Okay, here we are. Right in the big field in the... Where are we again? We are on the Earth continent of North America in the southern part of a country known as... Canada. Indeed we are, Flip. Indeed we are. Ready to cover the monster button fling ignition. Monarch butterfly migration. Exactly. And I am just a normal, average, everyday extraterrestrial who just happens to enjoy dark glasses. Okay. Nothing to see here. <laughs> no need for anyone to look at my eyes or face. At all. Flip, there's nobody here. It's just... Wait a second. <gasps> This field is full of tiny earthlings with colorful wings. <gasps> These must be the butterflies. It's butter, not batter. They're called butterflies. Really? They don't taste like butter at all. Rosie, do not eat the butterflies. Spit her out. <sighs> Sorry about that, little friend. I thought you were someone else. Apologize. We are not from around here. <laughs> oh, you don't say. It would tell your friend he needs a tic tac or something. Nice sunglasses, by the way. Oh, um, thank you. We're here for the Big Mono Arched Butterfly Migrant Festival. Nope. But you were so close that time. Can you tell us when the festivities begin? <gasps> and will there be refreshments? Because I have a weird leftover taste in my mouth. <sighs> Uh, you want to go check with Coach. He's over there. Uh, where? Uh, oh, fourth milkweed down on the left. He's the one with the orange spotted wings. Thank you. Um, they all have orange spotted wings. I know. I think it's this one over here. Ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me, are you Coach? Who's asking? My name is Flip, and this is my colleague, Mosey. Hello. And we're making an interstellar travel guide called How to Be an Earthling. Would you be willing to answer a few questions for us? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, what's this all about? Uh, this isn't about that thing with the mothballs, is it? I mean, we all do silly things when we're young. <laughs> it was just a caterpillar. No, no, it's nothing like that. We're here for the... <gasps> Uh, okay, uh, monarch butterfly, my grandmother. Uh. Migration! I mean the migration! Oh, great! Yeah, we're gonna get started in a little bit. Uh, we just have a little bit of a delay. Oh, 
Yeah, I like your sunglasses, by the way. Oh, eh, thank you. Where I'm from, we call them star blockers. <laughs> hey, no flattering. We stay in formation until I say go. I don't care who started it. <clears throat> uh, sorry, we're all just a little anxious to get going. Well, what are you waiting for? Donna, she's uh, still a pupa. A pupa? You mean like that little dot in the middle of Flip's eye? Ow! What? I think that's actually pupal. A pupa is one of our life stages. It's when we go into a chrysalis as a caterpillar, come out as a monarch butterfly. That seems very extreme. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that you used to be a caterpillar? Yeah, exactly. A caterpillar? Fuzzy little worm-like guy with lots of legs? I'm not sure I'd say worm-like, but yeah. Whoa. Are you getting this? This is unbelievable. Actually, it's completely believable. That's the life cycle of a butterfly. You begin as an adorable baby larva, and then you become a caterpillar. And then one day, for no particular reason, you find a nice branch, stretch out upside down, shed your skin and wrap yourself up in a chrysalis. That's the way it goes. So, uh, well, do you have any idea when Donna will come out of that thing? <sighs> Hard to say. Should be pretty soon now, but you know, everybody's different. We all grow and change in our own time. Like you, uh, with that, uh, little eye. What? What? What little eye? I'm certainly not growing any new organic ocular inputs or anything. <laughs> come on. Those shades aren't fooling anybody. You got like 15 eyes or whatever, but I know a newbie when I see one. Isn't it just the cutest thing? I am so embarrassed. Nothing to be embarrassed about. Growing and changing is part of life. You probably can't tell, but one of my wings is actually a little smaller than the other. No. Really? I kid you not. It's hard to tell, but I notice it every day. Do you ever get embarrassed about it? And not anymore, usually. Maybe when we're flying in a big group, or when we first get down to Mexico. Where? Mexico, baby! That's where this migration train is headed. We go all the way from Canada to Mexico. Nah, according to my calculations, that is about 3,000 miles! Yep, practically non-stop. So, how do you know where you're going? What model navigation system do you use? Hey, hey Phil! Ah, Maria! Come on over here. Let's give these guys the lowdown. The summer up north is exquisite. The breeze blows the milkweed to and fro. And when we feel the chill start to creep in, we know that it's time for us to go, go, go.
so you're migrating to a place you've never even seen? Yeah, we are. I don't need to see it to know it. It's what I was born to do. Kind of like you and napping, Mosey. Yeah! Wait, what? My parents and my grandparents came all the way here from Mexico just so I could grow up on some good Canadian milkweed. Now, I return home. It's what I was born to do. Ooh, are your parents going too? Yes, we would very much love to interview your maternal or paternal unit. Oh, they didn't make it. Come again? Yeah, they, uh, they spent their whole lives on that journey. Their entire lives? Yeah, best four weeks of their lives. Only four weeks of their lives, actually. Aww. Oh. Uh, but you know, at least they live on in our mission. And in the knowledge that I'll live to a ripe old age of at least eight months before it's my time to go. Time to go, time to go. Not yet! But, but, but you said it was time to go, so that... I was taken out of context. When I said time to go, I didn't mean us. We are waiting for... Always a late bloomer, even as a larva. I gotta say, I feel it too. You know, I'm ready to see some butters flying around here. <laughs> hey, uh, Donna, you think you can speed things up in there? Mosey! I'm sorry, I'm just getting a little bored. I don't like all this waiting around. Doesn't it bother you? Nah, it's part of the butterfly gig. I was changing and growing larva and caterpillar and Chrysalis. It might sound busy, but really, these kinds of changes happen so slowly, you can hardly see them until they're done. Well, I hope it's worth the wait. Oh, are you kidding me? Being a butterfly is great. Check it out. I got translucent wings. Uh, really? Yeah, look, you can kind of see through them. If you take off your star blockers... I can see fine, Mosey. Thank you very much. We don't have any natural predators. Animals never eat monarch butterflies because they get sick if they do. And get this, I taste food with my feet. <laughs> Is that cool or what? Wow, I would be so down with that. Sign me up. I have smelled your tentacles, Mosey. That would not be a good idea. <laughs> what do you mean? My tentacles smell fine. They smell like... Oh. Yeah, ah, no, uh, actually, never mind. Ooh, wow. Ah, but I think we're all hoping Donna decides to come out soon. We are ready to get this butterfly show on the road. Maybe Donna doesn't want to come out. What do you mean? Maybe Donna is a little nervous and scared about becoming a butterfly. But why? What's not to love about being a butterfly? Maybe Donna likes being a caterpillar. Maybe Donna doesn't like changes. Maybe she prefers things to stay the same and be as expected, and maybe she doesn't like it when things suddenly show up like an extra eye on her face. And maybe we're not talking about Donna anymore. Well, I understand how Donna feels. Everything outside of that chrysalis will be new and different for her, even her own body. Well, when you put it like that. Coach Butterfly, aren't you even a little bit nervous? Of course, we all are. But we're all so excited. It's kind of complicated. Oh. We're scared and we're excited and sad to be leaving our home, but happy to be on an adventure. We'll miss all this beautiful milkweed, uh, but I know we'll find new plants with even more delicious nectar. Whoa, you are feeling all the feels, aren't you, Coach? All of them at once, my friend. All of them at once. It's a big day. So, Donna, honey, you take your time. The girl with the funny eye is right. These changes can be overwhelming. But just know that we will all be here for you when you're ready. And that includes me. Funny little eye and all. Flip, did you just take off your star blockers? Yes, I did. Oh, 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 I am so proud of you. And I love your new little eye. Are you <laughs> crying, Mosey? I'm not crying. You're crying. No, I'm not. You are too. I can see it. No, that's just a mucus secretion. It's actually a normal part of the ocular maturation process. Man, you really know how to break the mood. 
Just the cutest little thing. It's the perfect re-birthday present. Re-birthday? Wow! To be a butterfly is so hard to imagine. From egg to caterpillar to chrysalis then hatching. And then to migrate across the whole continent they're <laughs> passing. You, ca you could say that for transformation we butterflies have a talent. Oh, when I think it through. For us, it is the same. That's right. Every, Every day, day brings changes we all go through. But you still are who you are. And you get to be yourself. And still get to be different, too. It's time for celebration. With a change in your life. Our life. It's a special occasion. Like when you get a new eye. got to see the Great Monarch Butterfly Migration. And some of us got to see it with new eyes. Yes, we did. <laughs> monarch butterflies are amazing earthlings that go through incredible changes over the course of their lives. I know, right? They become teenagers and grow wings and start tasting stuff with their feet. And they make an incredible 3,000-mile journey through three different countries every year. No one on Earth knows for sure how exactly these little Earthlings with cool wings know where to go when they migrate. They just do! Our friend Donna started out as a tiny larva on a plant leaf in Canada, and she wound up living as a beautiful monarch butterfly in a forest in Mexico. Yep. 
Life is full of crazy changes sometimes, but you adjust and adapt, especially when you have a big family of butterflies. Or an interstellar space pal. Oh, thanks, Flip. I like your new horn, by the way. Thanks, I... Wait, what new horn? Do I? Oh, Krasnitz, I just bought a new hat. Well, thank you, Earthlings, for joining us for this guide to how to be an Earthling. We hope we helped you discover something new about your incredible home planet. And if there's one thing we've discovered, is that your planet is big. You got land, sky, and ocean? Sure, that is way too much for any two intergalactic travel guides to cover on our own. So that is where you come in. We need your help. We can't do this on our own. I need me time. What Muzzy is trying to say is that we need your contributions to our Earth Guide. If you happen to notice or learn something interesting or unusual about an Earthling species on your planet, please share it with us. You can call us on the Selly Telly Ring a Ding Dingy at 1 833 4 F L I P M O. That's 1 833 number 4 Flipmo. Write that down. Your field reports may be used on an upcoming Earthlings travel pod. That's 1-833-4-FLIPMO. Just like our names. Flip and Mosey's Guide to How to Be an Earthling is a Tinkercast original production. And all of the original songs you heard in this episode were written and arranged by Jason Rabinowitz and the Pop-Ups. How to Be an Earthling is written by Kenny Curtis and Thomas Van Kalken. Written by... What does that mean? That means they put the words in our mouths, Mosey. Oh, mm. okay. Our masterminds of original sound design are Jason Rabinowitz, Ed Rosenberg III, with help from our senior production director, Jed Anderson. Our show is edited by Jacob Stein with additional production assistance from Henry Moskal. Our executive producers are Guy Raz, Mindy Thomas, and Meredith Halpern Ranzer. A tip of the tentacles to the rest of the Earthling team, including Jessica Bodie, Natasha Crandall, Anna Zagorski, Rebecca Leifer, and Joaquin Friedman. And special thanks to the actors you heard in this episode, including Jacob Stein and Jason Rabinowitz. And our Earthling alter egos, Courtney Shaw and David Ryan Smith. I ate him, and his voice comes through me. Grown-up Earthlings, you can follow us online at EarthlingPod. Our email address is hello at tinkercast.com. And finally, thanks to you for listening. Without you and your planet, we'd probably be in some remote galaxy screaming into the void of a black hole. But now we're screaming in your ears. And might I say, those are very oddly shaped appendages. Nosy! Until next time. Flippin' Mosey's Guide to How to Be an Earthling was made by Tinkercast and sent to you by Wondry.